Hi, I'm Jamie and welcome to Glowing Beauty Addiction. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers and a great big hello to any of my new subscribers. Today I'm going to be first impressions slash review of some of my Texas haul items as well as showing you some things I picked up at Winners and reviewing BoxyCharm. I'm late to the game on that but as you know I'm usually about a month late even receiving my box. So we'll get right into things today. We'll hopefully get this banged out. So first and foremost, what is on my face today? I have to tell you, I have been using these two skincare products, the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream that we got in a BoxyCharm, as well as the Good Molecules Wake Up Eye Serum, which I actually, I've been loving these. Um, you know, I'm usually pretty bougie with my La Mer, but I have not seen a decrease or anything like that in my skin. So I've been really, really liking those. For, of course, I used my Dr. Brandt primer. Swear by this, love this. Then I went in, the elephant in the room, <laughs> with my new Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define um, foundation that I picked up in Texas. Yeah, this is shade F4 and I would say it's about four shades too light. So uh, yeah, it was a little awkward to work with just because it does have the huge, you know, reminiscent of Tarte Shape Tape doe foot. It dried very quickly, so when I put it all over my face, then to take a brush to try to work it out, it was setting in places already. So then I had to put on some more, use a damp beauty blender, sponge. Um, it does feel good on the face so far. I'm gonna see how it wears, which is why I'm just kinda toughing out the, uh, the nady moment <laughs> of wrong foundation color. I used ColourPop concealer in what does that even say? Light 20. I've discussed this before. I am almost out of this. I set everything with my brand new favorite powder, which is the Pretty Vulgar powder. Love, love, love this. Can't say enough good about this. I did my brows using my go-to favorite Brow Bar to Go by Gerard Cosmetics. I am an affiliate with Gerard Cosmetics. I do have a code, Glowing Beauty Addiction, which is listed down, down below. If you want to get 30% off your purchase, and I do make a small commission off that, so if you're interested, highly recommend this. I set my eyes using MAC Painterly, which is the standard, the go-to, what I usually always wear. Excuse my nails. I'm still sporting my manicure that Miss Carson gave me down in Texas. I'm gonna have to take that off soon. So I've set my eyes. So then what I did is I went in with my Juvia's Place palette. Lord have mercy. These are so incredibly silky. I don't know if I've ever, ever felt a formula like this. Oh my goodness. I It was divine. So I used this shade as an all over color, kind of started working out the crease with this color and then deepened and defined the crease with that color. I also took this color just on my brow bone a bit, but oh my gosh, the formula of these, you could bathe in this and it would just be silky goodness. So then just kind of try something different, I guess. I went in with my Take Me Back to Brazil and I went on my outer corner with this bright orange and then I wet a brush and went into the center with this yellow right here and that's all I used out of this palette so far. Then, just to try to make sure I used everything, I went into my ColourPop Disney Villains Misunderstood palette and I went into underworld right here on my inner corner. So we're going to give all those a wear test so far. Like everything played very well together. Um, just because I really didn't buy a brown, I used my LA Girl Fine Line Eyeliner. 
still torn on this one. It didn't really go on as smooth as I would like, but uh, I'm going to keep giving it a whirl. I then went in with this Essence Volume Mascara that I picked up. I have to say, between this and the green one that I picked up, I think I prefer the green one just because it gives more length. This definitely gives volume. Um, the brush on it is very unique, kind of a funky shape to it. But I am love, love, loving these mascaras. This one I did notice when I put it on, if you didn't look down long enough, it would transfer to your lid, so something to be aware of. But I have been really loving these. And I can't remember now if they were $6, I think. They were up at the tail. Highly recommend so far. So then, oh yes, then I went in with my Milani Tea Rose Blush, just to give a little glow to the extremely pale base I was working with. So then, oh, before that, I used my Tardius Pro Glow. I've spoken about this before. I always contour with the, the Sculpt shade here. And then when I did my nose contour, it was very, very pronounced because I was so light underneath. But then I went in with my Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter, and this is in Peach Lights. And I felt it was a little light for the goldish kind of eye look I was going for. So even though it's peach, it was very light, very white more than anything. So I fixed that up by going into my BH Cosmetics Blushing in Bali. And I used Sun Kissed for my highlight, as well as my inner corner highlight, and a little bit more around my, my brows. I then used my Gerard Cosmetics Lip Scrub. I cannot get enough of this. I always suffer with dry lips. Um, more so now that I have to wear a fake tooth until I get that fixed. Um, this, I didn't take this with me on vacation and it was, I regretted not taking this more than forgetting to pack an eyeliner. This is an essential for my day to day. I then lined my lips using my Kylie Jenner Candy K lip liner. This went on very smooth. It was nice to work with. I then went in with my dose of colors in stone over top. Very nice. Loved it. And then just kind of, I was going to try to do an ombre type effect. I thought this Kylie Candy K would be lighter. So I just kind of put it in the center of everything. Love the smell of these. Love it. So far, now I don't know if it's because I layered it, but there has been transfer when I've been drinking. So keep that in mind. I then set absolutely everything, of course, with my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day in Cucumber. I'm gonna have to reorder because I go through this stuff and I can't live without it. So as I'm packing this stuff back up, let's talk about BoxyCharm. There has been a lot of issues online lately about BoxyCharm. There have been ambassadors like Nick Snyder not receiving their boxes. My boxes are consistently a month late. Um, I'll discuss another issue once I get into this a little bit more, but um, it's one of those six one, half dozen the other. I love the majority of the products I get. I feel it's good value, but for someone like me, like I would like to get my boxes sooner so that when I put up a review or an unboxing that it's somewhat relevant. Um, so anyway. We'll discuss that. So I have opened and checked it out a little bit just because I wanted to see if the rumors were true. And this is the Levian Rose box. And I just want to check one thing because it came with uh, Deborah, Lip Deborah Lipman nail polishes. And I actually gave that to Miss Carson in Texas. So I won't be able to show you that. So let's go through this so first off we get a makeup bag everybody can use makeup bags um i find if you're getting ipsy and those type of subscriptions you end up with so many of them that it's kind of asinine oh a little asmr <laughs> and 
you know, this train case is nice. It's pretty. I like the rose gold. I, when I travel, um, I don't have it in here. I should show you guys. You'd laugh. I actually use an old school caboodles when I travel just because it's hard and keeps my makeup safer. So on the inside, it is very roomy. It says boxy charm on the top. So it's cute. I like it. I will get some use out of it. The next thing I see in here is Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love. This is in the shade Taupe. So let's open that up and give it a swatch and see what we got going on. I am still stained from some of my swatches I did yesterday as well as this morning while I was getting ready. Okay, this tube seems huge. It's got a lot of heft to it. It seems a lot bigger than a normal lipstick tube. This is the color. Let's just give it a swatch right here. So that's a very nice kind of uh, nude color. So I don't dislike that. I'll use that, it's nice. If I keep looking out my window, we have a golf cart here. And if you watched my Get Ready With Me in the tractor, you'd know that. Um, my eldest, he knows how to drive it. So around the yard and stuff, it's not a big deal. But uh, my husband right now is teaching my youngest how to drive it. <laughs> thankful it's him. I'm not sure I could survive teaching those boys to drive. That is definitely going to be a blue job around here. Anyway, on we go. We have a set of Lily Lashes and these are in Gaia? Gaia? I'm excited about these. I, uh, ooh, sorry, I have the shakes today. I have always wanted to try Lily Lashes. I know a lot of beauty YouTubers talk about them. It looks like they have a very fine lash band, which I I really appreciate. So I'm gonna give these a whirl. Love those. We have Wander Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. Um, Wander Beauty is not one of those super well-known brands yet, but we did receive, I can't remember if it was an Ipsy or Boxy term, uh, the Wander Beauty Mascara. I loved that. That is one that I emptied. I used it all. Loved it. So I will be excited to try this. We have the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. And this is going to be in medium. Packaging is very classy. I love a, a very classy, I don't want to say plain, but clean look for packaging. Ooh. It, oh, blind y'all. Beautiful. I love the packaging. Looks fabulous. Let's get into it here. So you open it. It's got a mirror. And you open this little compartment. Try to peel off this. I watched Jeffree Star's reveal for his um, concealers and powders. Undecided as of yet what I think of the shade range, but I think I do want to try it. Okay, I think I just mushed that all to heck. Yeah, okay, so let's just say that opening this is a challenge. So I'm a mess. Get off my fingers. Um, judging from the color of my fingers, let's get a wipe here. I'm thinking it may be a bit dark for me. Um, again, I am getting, I don't know whether it's because I'm getting older or what it is, but I'm kind of getting set in my ways for what I like and what I don't like. Um, it is super nice. It's got a little spoolie and a little brush that folds, so it's very compact. I'll give it a whirl, but not too sure about the color. Very much dislike that now I'm covered in brow goop. But, we're gonna try it. Then we have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Transforming Moisturizing Cream. I'm not gonna open this because I've tried this before. 
I found it very heavy. It's supposed to be the best in the world. It's anti-aging, it's got all these properties, it's supposed to be super healthy, super good. It didn't work for my skin. It was too heavy and I usually don't have oily skin, but I found when I used it, kind of did give me a bit of that sheen. So I'm going to put this in my giveaway pile. And it, this is $48. So, but it doesn't work for me, so maybe one of y'all will enjoy that. Then we have the cover effects. That's kind of strange. There's no packaging on it. This is called the Perfector Face Palette in Light to Medium. I don't know about you, but I don't like when things don't have boxes and stuff. Hmm. Okay. There's a protector on the mirror, but not a protector over the palette. So there are the colors there. The finishing powder has a... Um, sparkle to it so I'm not sure how that would go but I don't know I'll give that a whirl colors may work for me try it out then we have moda powder and soft glow of brushes my box is mangled interesting very mangled but let's see what's in here kind of funny when things are mangled when they're inside another box but ooh, these are pretty very pretty brushes pop them out here they don't say what they're for but they are very very soft which it's kind of nice being that you got the cover effects palette so this would be a highlight brush very soft. I do notice that there is some fraying to it, but that's not the end of the world. It says excellent for wet and dry product, waterproof metallic handle. One's for powder and one's for glow, it says. So we'll see. <sighs> okay, now this is where we get real. The last item in BoxyCharm. A lot of us get BoxyCharm because there's a palette in every box. Um, the palette this month, and this was the Boxy Lux, so you would think luxury, high quality, something one could buy that maybe you couldn't afford to buy otherwise. That's not what we got this month. What we got, what I got was the Morphe palette. 15N Nightmaster. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when I think luxury, I really do not think Morphe. Um, what do they say the value of this is? Um, $16. So now maybe they were saying the cover effects palette would be the palette because it's $45. But I know when I was starting out in makeup, which really wasn't that long ago, it was all about the eyeshadow. You needed every color and you wanted eyeshadow. And as a young person, eyeshadow is the fun part, right? So I don't know. This was a huge disappointment for me and kind of made me go, okay, we're going to start putting BoxyCharm on a bit of a wait and see list because... Yeah, so let's open this up. I don't know what colors are in this particular. The palette does have heft to it. It is nice that way. Okay, it's got a, whew. Actually, it's got a very nice mirror. Um, so I kind of, how do I not blind y'all here? It's got a lot of the browns, um, a few purple shades in it. This shade almost looks like there was a finger mark in it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'll try it. I'll give it a wear test. I'll let you guys know. But for me, putting this in a luxury box was a big no. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Anyway, now, if you love Morphe, awesome. That is great. And Morphe does have some items that I do like. But as far as being in a luxury box, not really down with that. 
So let's quickly review just a couple of things, or not review, show you what I picked up at my winners that just kind of blew my mind. I picked up this Silky Glide Pro Callus Remover because it was on sale. You can see there. Um, I wear cowboy boots a lot. <laughs> I have had, I have calluses that I've had since I was probably about six years old, hence why I love the peeling foot masks. So my husband, he has the worst feet possible. If there's a problem that can be had with feet, he's got it. Bunions, ingrown toenail, like his feet are, are his issue. So I thought this was kind of cool. I was able to pick up a BH Cosmetics palette. This is called Royal Affair. And the reason this one stuck out to me and why I wanted to try it, let's bend this back, was the green at the end of this. It very much reminds me of the Makeup Peak green that I have. But again, it's one of those brands that you normally don't see up here. So when I do see it, it's kind of like, oh, give me, I want it. I picked up a Wet n Wild electric queen palette and this was 12 oh the royal affair palette i don't have the price for um wet and wild this was 12.99 so i'll be giving all of this stuff a whirl i can tell already that the loose pigment i'm probably not going to use i might put that in a giveaway and the iridescent or iridescent lip color is probably not going to be up my alley but We'll see what I can do with that. One of the best finds I found was the Sigma F20 Large Powder Brush. You know I love my Sigma brushes. This was on sale for $8. And it is the nice big powder brush. So love that I found that there. I also picked up a Marc Jacobs The Seamless Liquid Foundation Brush. Um, I have some Marc Jacob brushes and they're great. I love them. But this one was on sale for $7. When do you get nice name brand brushes for $7? That's insanity. That is a quality brush cheaper than Morphe. Just saying. I also picked up the MAC Rockin' Rebel palette. It was $29.99 and we all know how pricey MAC can get. These are the colors in it, which I love. I was not able to get the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette, so I don't know why the kind of... Actually, come to think of it, this could even be a knockoff of the Tarte um, Icy Beach palette. And I got the MAC Class Cutie palette, again, $29.99. This one's very reminiscent of my friend Metamorphosis Rocks. I thought she'd love this one. So I'll give that a whirl. So that is all the stuff I get to play with here now for a while and let you know what I think. Let me know down below, what's your thoughts on the Boxy Lux boxes as of late? Are they as luxe as you, they, they think they are? Um, I've also seen on Twitter a lot of talk about a skincare box. I've not even heard about it um, as far as being a paying subscriber. So yeah, thank you guys for spending some time with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. And until next time, I love you all so much.